The longest running primetime drama series on TV. There's the music, right? You all know that song so well. It films right here on the streets of New York City. Law and Order SVU. I particularly wanted to know how this iconic show was managing to film while following COVID protocols. How a show whose plots are ripped from the headlines are tackling topics like police brutality in season 22. So I reached out to Law and Order showrunner Warren Light. He's also the executive producer. He's a writer. He does so much for the show. He's joining me live now. Good morning to you, Warren. Thanks for joining us. Nice to see, nice to see you. Uh, you're also, you forgot to mention, you're an SVU alum. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks to you for making this guy's dream come true of being on this show at one point. But this isn't about me today. This is about you in a historic season 22. Congratulations for becoming this, for doing this season. But let's talk about the six months you had to shut down, right? What yeah. gave you the go ahead to go ahead and film season 22? And what changes did you have to make? Uh, well, we shut down March 13th um, and, and not a day too soon. It was getting, we all remember what New York was like right then. Uh, and and I, I remember when we shut down, people were saying, we'll be back in two weeks, right, boss? And I was thinking, I, I don't know. Uh, and it took a long time for us to even begin to imagine what, what shooting would be like in a pandemic. We, mm. You have to understand, we have a lot of people in close quarters passing props wearing costumes, putting on hair, makeup. Right. It's, 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 uh, it's the opposite of social distancing by, by, its, by its very nature. So we spent, I would say from April on, we started to re-examine how we did every aspect of writing, casting, production, and editing. We started just to think about, what, well, we obviously we had to bring in air filters and bring in the HVACs and all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to try to figure out how much PPE would people need. We had to wait for testing to become available. And uh, the plan took, I'd say, five months to get together. Wow. Uh, and, it was, and it was hours of Zoom meetings every day with every department. How can we do it differently? So casting now, there's no more auditions. People cast, put themselves, they Zoom their auditions. Right. And if you want to do a follow-up, you Zoom that. Um, uh, we decided that the actors have to test every day, which they do, uh, because they're the only ones allowed without masks on, right. uh, on our set. Anybody who approaches an actor has to have a mask and a plastic shield mm -hmm. on. Uh, and we just, we just went department by department, beat by beat, and tried to figure out uh, how is this going to work. Our, our priority was to keep everyone safe. Of course. We lost a, a crew member in early March. That was heartbreaking. Um, and we just didn't want anything like that to happen again. And, and, and so... Go ahead, and sorry. Warren, when, when, when you watch the show, for anyone who, who is watching this season, you mm -hmm. seem to have incorporated COVID into the writing of the show, including mask wearing in the show. Was that something that you wanted to do or you just because of the fact that the show takes place in current events? Well, uh, our show, what we like about the show, among the things we like about it, is it's set in New York right now. So we've been off the air for six months. And I, I thought, how do you, you, we can't pretend what's just happened in the city, whether it's the, the, uh, the, the COVID, the March and April, that, that horrible time, or the, the, um, the George Floyd protests or the spike in the murder rates, all of that has to be reflected in our show. Right. Other, um, other shows have opted to, uh, a couple of them have set their shows at a time when COVID's in the rearview mirror. Mm -hmm. And we're not there yet. And our shows, I mean, basically we shoot, if we're shooting a scene in, in October, it will be on the air in November. And right. I wanted to capture what the city has gone through and what it's like as the city fights back. And you That's, mentioned- That was our goal. And, and I think you're succeeding in that. And you've also mentioned the fact of the, of the George Floyd. We saw this uprising in New York City around the country around social and racial injustice. You're also tackling that in this season, in the writing, reflecting these relationships between the NYPD and the public. Do you want to touch upon that? Sure, well, I mean, we, we have to write about that. And, and we talk to a lot of cops, district attorneys, uh, community advocates, we, we do a lot of talking to before we start to write and they all told us after the summer like we just had within each precinct there are different factions different people are kind of beginning to pair off into people who agree with them politically or, or from a similar background as them and that it's the hot button in every precinct they also told us it's hard to be a cop right now mm -hmm. uh, either because people are less likely to trust the police or or uh Cops are being watched in a different way. The video cam the videotaping of every action cops take, which I think is a good thing, uh, puts them under a microscope. So we, we wanted to write about all that. We wanted to write about the schism within our squad. There's, you know, we have Finn, Ice T. Right. Uh, he's been a, 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 a we, we, I think the line we used was he's black and blue, but he's been in the NYPD for a long time. 
And when people tell him change is coming, he's less likely to believe it right. because he's heard that before. We have a young officer, uh, Kat Tamim, played by Jamie Gray Hyder. She's from a different generation. And she's that new generation of cop at NYPD who can't wait for change to happen, mm -hmm. who wants to see the old guard finally pass the baton at 1PP. And we're writing to all of that. We also, I talked to a DA who said uh, the only case that she never could get an indictment out of, a grand jury indictment, was after Amadou Diallo. Mm. And I thought that, and it stayed with her 20 years yeah. later. And I thought that's interesting, that you go into a grand jury and half the grand jury doesn't want to believe what the cops are saying. Yeah, I mean, think about Amadou Diallo and how much has not changed since that case where exactly. we are today. Uh, l real quick, before we go, um, you know, I'm a huge fan of the show, 22 seasons. What do you think has kept you going and kept the public so in love with this show? 30 seconds. I, I mean, at, at, uh, at the risk of fawning, I think a lot of that is Mariska. I think she's, she's the heart and soul of the show, we, and she's the heart and soul of our set. We have a, I, I hope you saw, we have a, a, mm -hmm. a, we have a, a decent set. People treat each other with kindness. It's a real community there. I think people, Look to her. Maybe she's the cop we wish we got to see when we were in, uh, uh, had the worst night of our life. But she's a, uh, uh, at this point, she's an icon. Seriously. She carries, she's the glue. I also think the topics we discuss are topics other shows shied away from for right. a long time. Warren. And, and people are interested. Uh, yeah, that's, yes, they are. And I was on that set, and every single person was welcoming to just little old me. I was a nobody, and they all, even Mariska. Mariska's welcome to come on the show, by the way. I say it all the time. I'd love to have uh, her on here to chat with her. I'll let her know. I'll let uh, her know. <laughs> and if you ever need a reporter, here's the shameless ask. I'm happy to come back. You did a great, uh, my, my experience is reporters play reporters better than actors. Well, you there did you a go. great job. Thank you. you well, you know, job. you have my number, Warren. All right. Okay. Hey, Very thank you good. for coming on to talk about this. Congratulations on season 22. Thanks so much. All best. All right. Safe.